I'm an addict for sneakers, 20s of Buddha and bitches with beepers in the streets I could greet ya. Yo, what up YouTube? It's your boy Nature Velog, often imitated, never duplicated, bringing you the best on things in the game. Before we move forward, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. It does so much for the channel. It helps me out. It helps you. Man, it even helps you out, man. You get to stay in tune with all the fire that I got coming and all the other good stuff, yo. Go ahead and do that. Don't play yourself. Before we get lost in the tangent, I got a quick thought, and definitely what I wanted to talk about is this right here. All-Star Weekend is over. Obviously, All-Star Weekend is over. And with that being said, I want to talk about the releases, but I want to talk about two releases in particular, and you already know what these are. Let's have a versus battle right here. These joints versus these joints. Let's go. Boom, boom. Now, most would say that these two shoes were the most hyped sneakers of all star weekend we have the yeezy quantum basketball this joint right here only released in chicago i think it did release online and you have the off white jordan 5 these also released in the city and did release on the sneakers app most of the pairs just released here in the city at least that's what i've been told yo head to head battle to battle which shoe was the better release uh which release had was the most significant um let man let's even talk that resale market which shoe is going for the most money right now you know what i mean via sizing and everything like that and which shoe do you wish you had you know that yeezy basketball or that virgil ablaw off-white jordan Five. Yo, so much fire, so much excellence right here just holding these two shoes. I'm really happy that I was fortunate enough to get both these shoes. Definitely fortunate, fortunate and grateful the way I got this shoe right here. This one is a DS pair. Bro, let's go ahead, take it to the table. Let's discuss which shoe is better. Let's go. And then after that, after we look at both the shoes, we're definitely going to sit here face to face and we're going to talk and we're going to talk about those, the pricing, um, how the shoes were released and everything. We're just going to get into it all. This is a versus battle. Yeezy versus Off-White. Yeezy basketball versus Off-White Jordan 5. Jordan joints, yo. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go and just let's let's just get to the table, man. One more, we what, what are we talking about? Let's go ahead and get to the table. Let's go. So boom, there you go. We got that off-white five. We got that Yeezy basketball, that Quantum right there. Looking at both shoes back, you know, just side by side. Obviously, one is a newer silhouette. You got that off that uh, sorry. You got that Yeezy basketball right there. Everybody know you got that. You know, all that 3M, 3M in the inside. All that good stuff right there. A lot of people were complaining that um, their size, this wasn't lined up correctly. Uh, to me, it looks like the smaller size. I mean, you got that clean lineup right there, in, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? That's a clean lineup. 3M does hit pretty hard knees. These are not the um, actual basketball pair. This is the Quantum pair. So I guess I should say Yeezy Quantum versus the Off-White 5. And then, boom. You got that off-white five right there. You know, nice canvasy material, deconstructed style. Got that yellowy sole, lemonade sole. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta wait for that joint. You already know what you're getting. Also, you got the DIY, the DIY joint right there. When you get to cut these joints out. Now, I'm in Chicago. Um, I definitely won't be cutting anything out. And you got that nice fat tongue, but it is thin. 3M Air Jordan on the back. Yo, these joints is fire. These are definitely fire. Don't ever play yourself and think that they're not. We're not going to act like this ain't fire too, though. Now, I know this is not the actual basketball version, but I wonder how does that basketball version feel? Like, you know, is it actually a good basketball shoe? You know what I mean? With Yeezy coming up with a basketball shoe, it has to be a basketball shoe. He can't come up with something that's just like, oh, like janky productions or anything like that. You know what I'm talking about? These joints right here, I think these are fire. Um, when we talk face to face, I definitely will give you my pick. Now, 
the Yeezy basketball, we'll, we'll start there first, right? We'll move that to the side. Yeezy basketball, brand new silhouette. You know what I'm saying? Got nice little fur right here. This uh, canvas material right here is fire underneath. You do have those 3M hits right there. You can't really see that right now, but you got that 3M there. Hold on, I wanna kinda turn on the light so you can see that 3M. Give me one second. So, I went and got a light to see if I can let you guys see that 3M. Uh, yeah, that ain't really working. You know what I mean? Got that 3M hit, but it's in there. Anyway, 3M hits inside there. These joints is definitely fire. Feels like that sock booty situation right there. Definitely does remind me of like Harachi or something like that with those bungee laces. And then, then you got that off white. You know what I'm saying? This, that hype right here. You already know. I don't even think I need to say anything about it. You know what I'm talking about? What do you want me to say? We already talked about that DIY. You know what I'm talking about? We already talked about the hype. People was going crazy. But people was definitely going crazy for these too. Now, let's go ahead and talk resale prices. Let's go ahead and bring it up. I'm going to put this on the screen right here. So, if you look here at the Off-White uh, Jordan 5s. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Gotta pull it up. So if you look here, I'm pulling it up right now. You got that off-white Jordan 5. And so in the size 9, right now, as we speak, the last sale was a was a 696. You got that joint right there. Extra fire. You already know. Let's look at oh, but the highest bid right now is 695. You know, somebody's asking 715. That's in my size, the size 9. Now the pair that I do have right here is definitely an eight and a half. So you got this eight and a half right here. Uh last sale was a 685. I definitely did not pay that amount. Definitely glad I got it when I did the highest bid right now is at 660 now this joint right here is extra fire you know what I'm saying gotta have it in the collection but let's go ahead and let's talk about those numbers since we talking numbers let's go ahead and talk this Yeezy basketball now with this Yeezy basketball I'm definitely not even sure what what the numbers looking like right now right well, I gotta make sure I put Yeezy quantum because if I put basketball everything is gonna be bad so this is uh the lifestyle model right here yeah because it's the lifestyle model now in a size nine uh this is i actually have a size nine which was given to me um that the last sale was a 680 the lowest ax is a 710 the highest bid is at 631 so when we look at the numbers right let's go to a size eight because the other size these only came in full sizes now this shoe actually right here is a size eight uh retail was what was the retail on these uh 250 and it's definitely pretty much going for like double the retail and 570 right now um the highest bid is at 540 the last sale was actually at 570. now that's kind of crazy to me and i'm not gonna even like I'm not trying to sway anybody, but seeing that this was like definitely a Chicago exclusive, the way it was given out the rollout and everything, I can't believe the resale is not like through the roof, but that's not what this whole game is about, right? It's not only about resale. So just comparing eights to eights, you say, we say the off-white Jordan 5s definitely had that Yeezy basketball quantum beat when it comes to the resale numbers. But now let's talk about rollout. Let's talk about rollout, and we're gonna talk about that face to face. Let's go. Boom. So first thing first, we're gonna talk about the rollout for the Yeezy basketball. When these things came out, Yeezy had the tanks going down the streets and everything. It was crazy. They was throwing out pairs. I was absolutely like fortunate and grateful enough to get a pair. I gave away my Air Fear God. It was like crazy end up getting a parody so the experience for me i'm definitely biased because i was able to experience it in a way that most people wouldn't experience a release but so many other people the tanks was all over chicago you got people like upscale crack they was going like nuts out there when they was able to get a pair and actually see quavo he was out there playing in the all-star game he actually had on the uh the actual performance pair and not the lifestyle version you know what i mean and, like crazy so two versions of the shoe did come out that release the just like the rollout was like just like amazing it just felt like i don't know like some shit in a batman movie movie Any, anyway let's go ahead and talk about that off-white five release now I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking it was just like a regular release. Well, you're wrong. It definitely was not a regular release. I guess the energy in the city was just like so crazy. Now, these did release at the Jordan store. Pretty much basic release. Um, you had to use the, the app and if you had those points or whatever, th that was just how it went. Now, man, let me tell you. 
getting this shoe. Um, I want to say it was kind of difficult. If you wasn't out there like really working, they had a spot on the south side of Chicago um, where they did have like a Jordan event. Yo, that thing was kind of dope. I actually was fortunate enough to get in there. I was with a cute influencer. I was able to get inside this event um, through another friend of ours. Well, of his, his, ours, whatever. It's so another person that's inside the sneaker community. You know, he was able to get us in. We was in there. We was able to chill, have a little bit of food, anything. We didn't stay long. But just getting in there was dope. Now, um, I guess the release, the, the rollout for this wasn't as memorable. You know what I mean? It wasn't something special. But would it have to be something special? Do you need this miraculous thing to go on when you're definitely going to be delivering an off-white five? Come on. Come on, it's the second Jordan model coming from Virgil Outlaw. Like, right now, you would say that is the GOAT of streetwear and high fashion. He is, quote unquote, the Louis Vuitton Don. The Louis Vuitton Don best friend is now the Louis Vuitton Don. If you know, you know. Anyway, boom, face to face, right? which pair actually won the battle now as far as like numbers and everything i definitely have to give a point to the off-white off-white fives yeah you know i mean as far as like numbers resale value this right here is where it's at period now just comparing the sizes because these both are like in the eight family that size nine for the quantum is a little bit higher it's actually going for like seven we just saw it was like going for seven and I guess the nine for this one is going for like seven also. This one was at a thousand, then it went down to seven, but it's still like a little bit more, like the, the value was a little bit more over that Yeezy Quantum. So one point for the, uh, for the uh, off-white fives when it comes to like the value. Now, when it comes to rollout, yo, this had the best rollout tanks driving through the city of Chicago throwing out free shoes giving out free pairs you had Quavo out there doing his thing like bro the tanks was everywhere people that never got Yeezys before got Yeezys it was this mayhem rolling in front of the Adidas store which just happens to be across the street from Jerry Jerry Lorenzo's pop-up when he was like meeting people that was fans of fear guys and then you got the tanks roll up right there crazy crazy making your boy feel some type of way that he even tweeted out or put it on instagram good move mr west good move one point definitely goes to the yeezy quantum all right now here's the breaker right here here's the breaker the tie breaker when it comes to the aesthetic of the look the freshness you know what I'm saying? The qualities of the materials, all that stuff. Yo, that's a tough one. Yo, that's a tough one. And I'm just going to give you my opinion. Now, this is just my opinion. This is mine. You already know. You know where I'm going to go. I'm definitely going to go with these right here. Boom! The Yeezy basketball. I'm going to go with the Yeezy basketball as far as like the all all around look this is a brand new silhouette brand new look brand new feel now this is a cool shoe but don't nobody really mess with fives you know me personally i like fives i like them you know what i'm saying but don't nobody really mess with fives and you know you, you slap virgil name on there not that he didn't do anything to the shoe because obviously he did people hated this i'm glad you get it like off top so that when your shoe does get older you're not afraid of wearing it you know what i mean you know some people like a clean looking shoe it seemed like this shoe will last the time you know what i'm saying but this one right here new model new silhouette just something brand new this is the actually this is the lifestyle version wait till the actual performance version comes out and if the performance version does like ma like match up with like actually being like a great basketball shoe that's going to be something else that's going to be something else entirely because there are no more basketball shoes that you can wear via lifestyle the last person to do that that had shoes that you can wear like lifestyle and actually rock on court was the jordan brand now it's strictly just a court thing it's like lifestyle doesn't matter because at the end of the day when you're an athlete and an athlete that, that represents excellence greatness like michael jordan 
it's all about leaving it all on the court so I can understand it. But when it comes to this sneaker thing, this lifestyle thing, getting these kicks and rocking these kicks off the on and off the court, you know what I mean? You want to look good on the court, like you want to perform on the court, but you also want to look good on the court. You know what I mean? You want to look good. When you look good, you play good, you feel better. And if Yeezy has done that with this here, the Quantum, making a lifestyle version and a performance version that pretty much look the same. The only difference is there's a protective caging out here. That's the only difference that I have seen. I haven't seen the shoe in hand, so I can't really say. I would have to say that, yo, Yeezy got him beat. So, yo, yo, that's two points for the Yeezy Quantum, one point for the Off-White 5. But, hey, look, those are my opinions. I want to know what yours are. What's your opinion? How are you feeling? Let's talk about it. Are you feeling this one better? The rollout, the release, the uh, the numbers? Do you believe that it was the Yeezy? Did Yeezy really come up on top? Or was it actually Off-White? Because at the end of the day, Off-White is doing it bigger and better. You know what I'm saying? Bigger and better. The head of Louis Vuitton, messing with the Jordan brand, head of Off-White, you know what I'm saying? The boss, the man, the fashion guy himself right now virtual app law come on man what are we talking about what are we talking about what are we talking about they're both friends it's all like it's all love it's all in the family you know what i mean it's all in the chicago family you know what i'm saying chicago don right here you know what i'm saying virtual app law best from one of the best friends of kanye west you know what i mean it's all in the family you know it is what it is but i want to know your opinion leave that feedback leave that comment down below and Closing, I know I didn't do this in my last video, but we're gonna go ahead and do it now. In closing, I want to leave you with some positive feedback because that's what I like to do. And this one right here definitely does come from Jumpman Boston. So, just paraphrasing, and I'm not saying this verbatim because I can't remember it verbatim, and this is like really like off the dome. You know, I think he said like something like friendship is built on two things. And that's respect and trust. One without the other, your friendship crumbles, man. And yo, that's that. And I, I, hey, that's what it's all about. You know what I mean? Just like, yo, yo, respect each other. You know what I'm saying? And this, this has nothing to do with me. I'm just, I'm just saying in general, man. Some people just don't know that, man. And they need to know it. You know what I mean? And just that part. Me personally, I probably wouldn't have said nothing like that. I would have said something like, you know, because I'm not like a, a mean. I, sometimes I can get a little bit mean. And I say, you know something? All the people that's acting like my friends, they be hate, secretly hating on me. I hope they lose their two front teeth so I can see them when they smile. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. <laughs> that's just me. Anyway, I'll holler at you guys next time. Just wanted to make you guys laugh. Hey, yo, peace and love. You know what I'm talking about? I'm gone. Ah! Can't see myself getting out the game. No time soon.